guys. I want to mention this before it gets too late, right, while I'm doing some vlogs, okay? Right. And also, because I might forget altogether to mention it, right, it's about the Marvel TV Universe, yeah? Right. Specifically, Daredevil Season 3. Right. Anybody watch that at home with, like I have just done? Just finished off the last series, uh, last episode. It's like three nights ago, three days ago, of season three. But the last, the last season of Daredevil, the current season, the one we currently have, the latest one we currently have. I think it's season three. It's not season four. It's season three, isn't it? Because Jessica Jones is season four, isn't it? There's four seasons of that. Season three, of Daredevil. Right, I loved season three the latest season the currently currently the, the one season which is the latest of daredevil i think was absolutely brilliant and i can only highly recommend it i can only recommend it i can't recommend it higher enough i can't recommend season three of daredevil enough i can't recommend it enough um maybe it's exclusive to people who are into superheroes, maybe so, and the way TV, episodic TV, episodic superheroes are written, maybe it's exclusive to that type of pun set. Right. Did know. you watch it at home with, as I have just done? If so, tell me, do a uh, video response, let me know what you thought of season 3 of Daredevil. I thought it was, without swearing, bloody brilliant. We got the halfway point in the season where there was like a, a climax sort of thing in the in the writing. There was like sort of like a highlight, climax highlight if you will, like halfway through the season. And then at the end we got the expected ultimate climax if you will uh, to round the season off. But I found the... The, uh, I don't like using the word climax. The highlight, I used the word highlight and said, I found the highlight mid season, season three of Daredevil, I found the, mi the mid season highlight of said season four. Christ. Just as good, if not better, than the ultimate payoff in that season. season where Daredevil was fighting one on one with Fisk. Uh brilliant way Fisk was pulling out the shards and the chandelier one after the other as he was stepping back into the pools of blood. It was just brilliant. Daredevil was relentless and then bloody um the uh and then Point Dexter he uh he was part of it as well. There was, there was like three of them on one, and we had, uh, we had, oh no, his his new wife. Oh no, dead. Um, fuck Fisk's new wife. What's her name? As she was trying to prevent blood from spattering all over, as she was trying to dodge the punches throughout the apartment. Oh no, what's her name? Oh shit! It'll come to me. I found the midway highlights for season three of Daredevil. The way all of a sudden, the way that season, because the season, the way season three was written, it was based solely on the. It was it was solely character based. The writing was it was solely driven by the strength of the characters, which is, in my opinion, the strength of the season as a whole. We we not only I mean they are the best payoffs in TV dramas when they're based on character play. They are the best. You can have all the explosions and all the cliffhangers, physical cliffhangers and explosions, all the best CG car chases in the world. You can have all that uh, gunplay, etc, etc. I mean, apart, if gunplay's based on emotional, on the emotions, then that's fine. But if none of that, n none of that can be character play when it comes to 
uh, if you are being drawn into any kind of narrative story, which you can only achieve in TV drama. Um, movies have, that's why the movie makers of today are making these three hour, three and a half hour long movies, aren't they? They're trying to, they're trying to do what they can in that amount of time, that length of time, but they, movie makers of today, they, all, they forget that people can't sit in one place for that length of time. Uh, we, of today, have done away with intermissions in our movies, so it's, um, the future of cinema, hey. Anyway, TV drama is just, just so brilliant. The way the midway highlight of Daredevil Season 3, the way that was built solely around character play. Now I won't go any fit I won't go into the specific details of actually what happens because I don't want to ruin for anyone. All I will say is if you like your comic book TV written for TV dr serials, drama serials, because it is, it's serious drama at the same time as it being comic strips, Daredevil. Yeah, you may not have discovered Dead of yet. You may not have Netflix. And watch it from the beginning. Don't just dive into these uh, comic strip TV serials. Don't just dive into any of them. Because they're all virtually as good as each other. I'll move on to Jessica Jones later. They're all virtually as good as each other. And they're all so well written. I will say to you out there. Don't go diving into these TV serials halfway through. Because... They're not like they used to be. They're all, if not most of them, are all character driven. They're all based on the narrative play from characters, the characters within. Anyway, I'll touch on the midway, the midway highlight. I'll touch on that because I have to because it's so good. I never saw that coming. I never saw it coming at all. I was so engrossed in watching the characters at play. We got to see Karen's background as well. With, with we got to see how where she came from. Um, we got we got further development on the the central characters in the story. The the, 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 the drama focused in on the central players in that series and. And as it did so, it kind of like reminded us all as viewers what we loved about each character. And they did it really clever, cleverly, if you like, if you will. Because it, it was in a way that they could do so, reminding us of the strength of the characters without having flashbacks. Without simply replaying old clips and flashbacks. Wonderfully written, wonderfully. So when we got the midway highlight... It just all worked, because we as a viewer just felt like we really knew the characters really well. Um, what can I say without spoiling it? Uh, let's put it this way, right, if you're timid about spoilers, right, ah, oh, shit, I don't want to, I don't want to. Anyway, the, uh, I don't want to give it, it away. I don't want to give it away. The bit where, bit where, um... Foggy was talking to Point Dexter, just curious about um, what on earth, what the fuck he was doing. Um, what the hell in his mid surprise, and then where we got Daredevil um, coming into his play in a sort of like slow motion 
where he reached his fist out. And I'm going to say nothing more because I don't want to ruin it. That to me just came out of nowhere. But it was fucking brilliant. It was just so good. The following 10, 15 minutes then was just solid. It was just so fucking good. I was just like, every blues in my mind, all my worries, everything just went out the window. And it was just, it was just fantastically the way it was photographed. The way it was edited. Everything was at stake. Everything was at stake. Everything was at stake. And then everything was at stake. To play for in the said following 10, 15 minutes. And it was, which made it just essential viewing it. And it was just, and it drives me to come to do this video to highly recommend Daredevil. TV series and from the start I said mentioned Jessica Jones before and how good that was as well Jessica Jones season 3 the series before its current season season 4 now that the current season of Dead Devil season 3 reminded me of season 3 of Jessica Jones as that had a midway highlight as well As it it get growing stronger toward the finale highlight as well, it had sort of like two payoffs, like the season I'm talking about here, season three of Daredevil. Um, again, I don't want I don't want to go into any great detail on that, other than comparing the two and expressing the quality of both. Yeah. Again, extremely character driven, solely based around the character play. From the central players, just amazing the way neither, neither drama, neither of the two titles I mentioned here have gotten dry, have dried up at all, and it's solely down to the way it's written. Highly recommended both. Highly, highly recommend both. I thought season four. Moving on now, just where I'll, I'll finally finish here. Season four, of Jessica Jones. Now, after the greatness of season three, Jessica Jones. I thought season four, just kind of, I didn't think it was necessary at all, but I'm watching it. And so far so good, I'm like halfway through it and so far so good. And then I'm going to leave it, highly recommending Daredevil. Ultimately I think Daredevil may have inched ahead Jessica Jones season three. And may have ed edged ahead. It's as comparable as they are, as different as they are, I think. Out of them all, the four or five uh, Marvel TV universes we're getting, I would say... I would say Daredevil followed by Jessica Jones and, yeah, the rest right up behind. Brilliant, brilliant, essential viewing. Essential viewing, e late night evening viewing, especially in the surround sound as well. Especially in the surround sound. You have to watch it in the surround sound with the sub. have to. It's essential. It's all essential. I've got to go. I'm getting company. Over and out. Uh, I watch... Yeah, yeah. I'm gone. <laughs> uh, watch what in any way fucking skip to the chase Warren right fucking season 3 devil was brilliant right <laughs> you watch it at home Enough slugging around, enough slugging around.